Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Killer Robot Freezer, and I'm here in a new series called Top Killers. We will be counting down the top killers from around the world and deciding which is the strongest of them all. This first episode will be known as Sea Monsters. And our first sea monster is the sperm whale. Being the largest toothed predator of all time and reaching in a length of about 20 metres, the sperm whale is a real monster. Their main source of food are giant and colossal squids and they only have teeth on the bottom row of their jaws. Sperm whales don't really hunt in pods that much and what they do when they hunt giant squids is the squid usually wraps around their face and then they open their mouth and shove the squid in. They usually swallow their prey whole. The sperm whale is very large and if you saw my episode sperm whale versus blue whale you'll see their real power. Their head is very large and their brain is very large. They are said to have the largest brain of any mammal. The sperm whale is going to be first place for now but will it stand a chance to the devils of the sea? Humboldt squids could be one of the most deadly creatures ever on the earth. They have a beak and they have suckers on every single arm or tentacle, whatever you want to call it. They have six arms and two tentacles with suckers on each of them. Every sucker is filled with teeth and they attack people. Once they attack you, it's a blood, 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 blood. There's no escape from them. You're lucky if you survive. Humble squids are easily the devils of the sea and a real sea monster. They're really tiny. And if you saw my video on the deadliest creatures in the world, I think they made it to the top five. If not, they came sixth. Definitely a deadly predator. Yes, they steal the lead in first place. But can they defeat... The largest squid ever. This is the colossal squid. It's a real sea monster with legends based off it, like the Kraken. Yes, this is the creature that inspired this whole video. If this creature didn't exist, myths like the Kraken wouldn't be around. Their full length, in my opinion, is rarely unknown. And on each tentacle, they have hooks, like meat hooks, that will grapple onto your skin and can tear flesh. They are heavier than the giant swing squid, but they are not as long. I would say they are a real sea monster. Colossal squid will settle for second place. Out of all of these sea monsters, the giant squid is definitely what the one that is used the most, like in tales like the Kraken. Forget about the colossal squid. The giant squid is the one that inspired the kraken. The giant squid is about 15, 18 feet. Not that long. This one may look giant and like ginormous, but that's because it's in a close-up picture. Now, it is a pretty large creature when you think about it, but nowhere near size of the blue whale. And its maximum weight is one ton. On every sucker, there are small teeth. And they are food for things like sperm whales. The only way for them to win is the squid gets lucky and escapes. Well, because the whale has to go up for air. And if the whale doesn't go up for air, it will die. The giant squid will have to settle for third place. While the whale is in fourth... The Colossal Squid is in second, and the Humboldt Squid is in first. But can it be the shark with the strongest bite force of all time? This is the Bull Shark with the strongest bite force of any shark, except for prehistoric ones. The Bull Shark's main strategy is to give a bump to its prey, testing the prey, and then it will give a crunch bite. The bull shark does have a stronger bite than a great white shark. 
and can almost live anywhere. Rivers, lakes, salt water, you name it, it could pretty much live there. Bull sharks are very dangerous. Their bones, however, are made of cartilage, the stuff that's in your nose and your ears. Cartilage is not very powerful, but its skin is what's really powerful. If you look at the great white shark skin close up, it looks like metal spikes. And that's probably the same with a bull shark. The skin is very powerful. Bull sharks will eat anything and they are easily at the top of the food chain in the ocean. The bull shark will have to settle for second place. This is a real nightmare of nature. Light above its head and ginormous teeth. This is the anglerfish. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and it looks fake to some, but in reality, it's not. It looks very similar to a prehistoric fish known as Zepactinus. Now, that light bulb around its head is used for two things. First of all, the anglerfish does need some light around this place. But second of all, it's bait. Fish will come close to the light and then they will get gobbled up by the anglerfish. But the thing is, these fish aren't too deadly to humans. We will reveal the anglerfish's place later. But let's check our final result. These are our results. In first place, the Humboldt squid. Second place, the bull shark. Third place, the colossal squid. Fourth place, the giant squid. Fifth place, the sperm whale. And sixth place, the anglerfish. Thank you for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching and bye.